Sue's story is definitely one of rebirth because when we bought her, we didn't know this at the time, of course, but she wasn't even safe to travel. She, we couldn't even tow her. And, and while she looked good on the outside, reasonably good, uh, on the inside, she was just an ugly mess. So we were able to just completely gut the inside of the trailer, fix up the outside of the trailer, and basically take Sue down to nothing but skin and bones and completely rebuild her from there. We had an idea to make the interior of the trailer kind of retro-modern. 1961, that vintage, that era, the difference being between a renovation and something, you know, you going to the Airstream factory or the Airstream dealer and getting a new Airstream, those Airstreams are all made in the factory. They all pretty much look like each other. In doing a renovation like this, we get an opportunity to actually handcraft every element of the Airstream and make it exactly what we want it to be, make it into a work of art. And I feel like we've really done that with Runaround Sue. I've been uh, part of this Airstream project uh, since very early on and participated in pretty much all phases of it and then I've been maintaining it for the last few years. We had to tear the thing down to complete skin and bones. The base pan came completely off and the underside was actually insulated with a soy based foam insulation. The solar panels, uh, it has uh, about 250 watts of solar panel power on the roof and they give it the ability to uh, charge deep cycle batteries contained in the trunk portion and that allows you to go without plugging into grid power for a number of days. Back here are the deep cycle batteries, the uh, power system distribution box, and the inverter, which allows it to tie to the grid, and then the shoreline plug. The batteries are kind of interesting because they're a completely sealed battery, so they don't off-gas at all. And they're actually made by a company that actually supplies uh, batteries to airliners, so they're a very uh, reliable battery. All of the cabinetry is a ply boo, so that's made of bamboo, which is a grass that sustainably grows and is not like wood, so you're not cutting down forests for the plywood. The countertops in the Airstream are all reclaimed redwood that we took off of a deck in town here. So it used to be two by fours, and then it all got ripped down to this thinner width, um, joined together, and then finished with a natural tongue oil so it's all completely natural and a uh, recycled product as well. We completely abandoned having the traditional black water tank of a uh, trailer in favor of having a composting toilet. This particular composting toilet is used on yachts and a, a lot of pretty high-end products and uses a method of separating the uh, liquid material and the solid material. We wanted to continue with the low VOC, no off-gassing, but we also wanted a comfortable, sustainable cushion. So we found a um, natural latex cushion product that is very comfortable and also sustainably harvested. And then we went ahead and sewed all organic cotton covers on all of the cushioning. And then any throw pillows also have organic cotton covers. 